Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, happy. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. That's yes, right. Guys. Was it yesterday? <laughs> yes, it was yesterday. This is a great way to celebrate your birthday. Right? It's like it's, I'm having a celebration all week. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do for your birthday? I saw Broadway. I had a bit of a food trip. I oh, went to fun. Hillsong. Yeah, it was amazing. That's a, You grew up in Australia, I understand. Yes, I so did. So when did you uh, move to the Philippines? Or are you from, your mom is? Yes, my mom is a Filipina. My dad is a Scottish immigrant to Australia. I see. Wow. So I was born and raised in Australia, and then I moved to the Philippines as a teenager. Wow. Yeah. And you've moved since here to New York, right? Yes, I'm four days fresh. Oh, so. just literally. <laughs> so well, you're covering a lot of ground. Yeah. Tell me, uh, what do you think about winter? Well, <laughs> do you have a coat? I'm very concerned right now for your warm flow. I have a coat, and I've been going out in like at least a minimal of three layers. Good. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, so I'm looking a bit like a show pao when I go out, or I'm really fluffy looking. But as long as I'm warm, it's all good. Yeah. You're, you're enjoying the change yeah. of climate because it's warmer. I love it. I love it. You know, I grew up in a one climate kind of setting. So in the Philippines and in where I grew up in Australia, it's one season. Summer, hot season, and then wet season. So to see... That must well. have been horrible for <laughs> <laughs> Summer all year long. This is her, Shorts this is her heaven. I know. But I understand your mom, and I believe moms have this power. Your mom dreamed that mm -hmm. you would be Miss Universe. She did. And it was I was about 13 years old. And then she said, Honey, I had a dream that you won Miss Universe in a red dress. And I was like, Okay, Mom. <laughs> but you did. You won Miss Look, Universe. You know, right? I <laughs> That is a great dress. Thank you. It actually draws inspiration from my hometown in the Philippines, which is known for Mount Mayon Volcano, which is a perfect <laughs> cone volcano. Yeah. Wait, look at everybody knows. Yes, we have here. <laughs> that has to make you feel good. I love it. You yeah. know, Filipino fans are the best fans in the world. Yeah. And this whole journey, yeah, has been amazing. This is not her first pageant. You won your first pageant way back mm -hmm. in 1999 <laughs> when you were five years old. You yeah. won Little Miss Philippines. Oh, yeah. Look at that shot. I mean, <laughs> I've got to tell you, I, I can't tell how tall you are in this picture, but it's you. Uh, you are unchanged. I know. I didn't go through like a <laughs> transformative puberty. But like, you had no. I looked the you same. had no awkward face. Oh, I did. I no, did because I when I was it. eight. <laughs> tell me. No awkward face and all summer. Warm all year round. <laughs> now, when I was twelve, I was five foot eight tall. Mm. No kidding. So I was so awkward, you would not believe. Like, I used to be good at sports, and then when I was 12 years old, that just went out the window. I was uncoordinated. I'm 44 and I'm 5'8". <laughs> <laughs> right, tell me about it. You exaggerate, please. <laughs> So, I, I, why did I fly back overnight for this? Uh, so your, your platform is something near and dear to your heart. Very. Working with the education back mm -hmm. home, yeah? Tell us about it. Well, I really believe that education is transformative. It's something that you can give to a child or to a person that can never be taken away from them, mm -hmm. which is why I'm so passionate about it. So I work with an organization called Young Focus Philippines, and they work to give quality access to education for impoverished areas. So these kids without NGOs like that might not ever you know, experience going to school, experiencing developing a love for learning, which at the end of the day, that's really what can pull a family out of poverty. Mm -hmm. So it's something I'm very passionate about. Well, good for you. Yeah, so happy for you. There's an example of good parenting. Right? Exactly. I'm just thinking, wow, your parents must be remarkable. Yeah, I, I bet they are. And they so are. are you. Congratulations. Great to see you. Thank Appreciate you so much.